outfit ideas for those wide leg jeans. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share with you three ways to wear your wide leg or flared jeans. So I know for a very long time, we've been on the skinny jean train, but you can always pull out the wide leg or the flared jean. You also can wear wide leg pants. And I feel like even though I, I don't know, we talked about this like four years ago or something that they were like on the cusp of coming back. But I feel like now since there are so many wide leg trouser options that the jeans are becoming a little bit more prevalent. I happen to love skinny jeans, but I know not everybody does. And they do tend to make a curvy woman look even curvier. So if you have bigger hips, butt and thighs, the skinny jean will definitely accentuate that, which if you want that, great. If you don't, the wide leg or flare jean is an awesome option to balance out hips, butt, and thighs. The question is, how do you wear them? You can wear them in a very similar way that you would wear any pair of jeans. You just have to kind of modify your footwear, I would say. And also with a flared or wide leg jean, it's a little bit different proportionately than a skinny jean because the skinny jean fits more like a legging almost. It's very fitted to the body, whereas the wide leg jean does fit and flare. You have to be mindful a little bit of volume proportion because the wide leg or flare jean is quite sizable, so you don't wanna be oversized everywhere. But I'll show you some options to get you going, get you inspired. As always, you guys know that you can recreate these looks with pieces you have in your closet. So screenshot it or whatever, save it, think about it, and pull the, th the pieces that you have out in your closet that are most similar and recreate the looks that way. That way you don't have to buy anything new. Of course, if you wanna buy something new, I will put links to everything I feature in the description box for you guys to check out along with sizing and pricing and all that. I just wanna note that with the pricing and with the things that I feature, I always give you a lower priced option if something is on the pricey side. I do that intentionally because I don't ever want someone to feel left out in terms of affordability. The other thing I just want to mention is you don't ever have to buy anything new. You can always recreate the concept with something you have in your closet. You can always go to the thrift store and buy something at the thrift store. The first look I wanna show you is probably the most basic and the easiest. It's a pair of Fit and Flare jeans. These are by Seven for All Mankind. I like that brand as well as J Brand for Wide Lake Flare jeans. Those are the two brands I tend to purchase over and over and over again. However, for lower priced options, I would look at Madewell. They have great flare jeans. Topshop, great flare jeans. And I'll put suggestions below for you guys too. And then Express. You know, Express has great flare jeans and they also have the short, regular, and tall sizing, which is awesome. So the first look is just a pair of fit and flare wide leg jeans. And you'll see that you can barely see my shoe. I'm wearing a black pair of suede booties with a pretty tall heel. And the way you want your flare jeans to fit in terms of length is that they're almost dusting the floor. So it's a half to three quarters of an inch off of the ground. Now, if it's a cropped pair, that's a different story, that's a different look. But if you want a true, like, super leg lengthening, you know, um, legs for days kind of look, then you tailor the jeans with the shoes that you'll wear them most with so that they're one half to three quarters of an inch off the ground. So I just paired that with a black t-shirt. This one's by LNA and a black moto jacket. So it's super simple, super chic. You could see the waist. It's important to kind of highlight the waist. This is definitely something. You just pull out a black blouse, pull out a black tee, and throw on a, a little cute moto jacket over it, and you're good. The next look I wanted to show you is something that highlights the waist a bit more, and I said I would mention that. Um, highlighting the waist with these jeans I think is a really great look because it does create that hourglass, super hourglass shape. You know, you've got the tiny waist or the appearance of the tiny waist in my case, and then that flare jean, so it really does give you that hourglass effect. I paired the same jeans with a pair of brown boots Again, the 
jeans are almost dusting the floor so I'm selecting boots and shoes based on the height of the heel versus the length of the jean. And then with the wide leg jean it's always best to pick something that has either an almond toe or a pointed toe. You can do square toe too but if you want again to create the longest line possible then I would do a pointed or an almond shaped toe. So just a regular brown belt highlights the waist. I tucked in my white crochet shirt and then since the top is tucked in and I'm wearing a waist belt here's where you could add a third layer if you wanted to. You don't have to but you can. Because you're highlighting the waist it doesn't look like all over volume. So the key here is to highlight the waist so that you can wear that third layer and still look like you have a shape. This is just a white free people cardigan. Do you guys remember this from the Nordstrom sale? This is a great cardigan. I've worn it a bunch already. This one is a little bit of a wild card but I thought I would throw it in because I really love this look. So it's the wide leg jean. It's the same boots that I featured with the first look. The black suede booties with the almond toe. And then I put a black cashmere pashmina poncho over a t-shirt or whatever shirt you want really because the poncho is covering it up. But you know there's where you think like oh if I want to take off this poncho does the shirt underneath hold up on its own. But you throw on your poncho and then you add a belt bag. So we're not all over volume. The belt bag cinches the waist, creates the hourglass shape. This is great too if you have a little bit of a tummy and you want to cover up that tummy but you still want to highlight a waist, this is it. You've covered it up but you're highlighting the waist and you're comfortable and you're warm and you're fashionable and you're like ready to whatever. Okay so those are the three looks I wanted to share with you for your flare jeans. I will put options for flare jeans below in the description box for every budget. So if you're interested in buying a pair there will be options for you in the box below. And to get to that box, I know some of you have messaged me that you're not sure like how to get to the box. All you do is click on show more and then you'll see it. When looking for your flare jean or your wide leg jean, I would go high rise on this because the beauty of these jeans is that they do create that look of legs for days. If you go with a higher rise option, not only is it gonna like suck in anything going on here, it also will make your legs look a mile long. And who doesn't want that? I would definitely look for a high rise pair. I would look for one that's fitted all the way through to the knee and then flaring from the knee down to the floor. Okay, so do let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will put the playlist with all of the Wear It Three Way videos. Um, I'm amassing quite a few of them now, so I'll put that right here for you guys to check out if you haven't um, caught those already. There's a bunch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.